Hi, this is Johan Valdelius with Yukogava Measurement Technologies in the Nordic. Today we're going to take a closer look at the uh, high-tech current sensors from Mach Plus. It's an accurate current sensor. Uh, and at the same time we're going to look at the DL850 Yukogava scope quarter and also the WT1800 power meter. We have a setup here where we have a uh, power supply for the sensor. It's feed feeding the measurement head. We have a voltage output uh, through a precision shunt inside the uh, box here, and that's fed into the 16-bit uh, uh, module of the DL850 scope quarter. We're measuring the current through the current sensor, and at the, as a reference, we're looking at a little bit cheaper uh, clamp-type probe, just as a reference, and we're measuring the same current also through the high precision inputs of the Yukogawa power meter and we're measuring the uh, current consumption in this case of both the both these instruments actually so the same current is fed through the uh, power meter as a reference we're also measuring them with the clamp and with this uh, Yukogawa or this high tech uh, current sensor and this is rated up to 500 amp, and at the moment we're only measuring 600 milliamps. So we'll also show that it's accurate all the way down to smaller currents. And I've captured signals here um, with the uh, clamp type probe and with the high tech current sensor. And we've also have the same on the power meter as a reference. The power meter is sampling with five mega samples uh, and we're measuring with this uh, also with five mega samples for two seconds in here and this is with five mega samples all the time. So this is uh, uh, the waveform from the power meter. As you can see it looks much more like the uh, shape from the current sensor, the high-tech sensor. The shape of the clamp probe looks bit different and already you can see the RMS value down here on this from the screen and we're only measuring from uh, the bottom to the bottom at the end here so we have full we're measuring the RMS of full cycles for and with the, the clamp we have 530.78 milliamp and with the current sensor we have 637. If we look at the power meter at the same time, it's captured here. We have a numeric value of 638.07. So in this case you could definitely see that the current sensor is much more accurate for measuring currents. Uh, and next we're going to examine how well the power meter or how well the DL850 does for power actually compared with the power meter. So stay tuned.